All right, so now to more breaking news. Brand new allegations of bribery involving a member of the Detroit City Council. Detroit City Councilman Andre Spivey anticipates being indicted by federal prosecutors over a thousand dollar payment three years ago. As of right now, the indictment has not been yet unsealed by the feds. Mara McDonald live in the newsroom with more though. Mara, uh, Councilman Spivey, I guess not right now, at least taking any calls from us. Devin, he is not, but his attorney Elliot Hall is. And Hall tells me the expectation is that Spivey was to be indicted today. But like you mentioned, we have not seen anything unsealed by the feds so far. The expectation is it would be a single count of bribery. Let me show you what we know. Spivey currently represents District 4 and opted not to run for re-election this year. Per those who have had conversations with the councilman, the issue the feds are looking at him for is from three years ago, where he allegedly accepted $1,000 from an undercover police officer. But it is unclear what the $1,000 was supposed to be for or what the expectation was in return for the money. The U.S. Attorney's Office will only say at this point there is nothing publicly available about any potential indictment of the councilman. Back here live, Spivey's attorney Elliot Hall tells me that this indictment is a surprise to him and his client, Councilman Spivey, says they have been working with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the last 15 months to try and resolve this issue, but clearly that has not happened. So stand by. As soon as that gets unsealed, Devin and Kimberly will give you an idea of what it says. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. So, Mara, I guess that would suggest that they uh, we should not assume that the reason he didn't run was expecting an indictment. They're saying that that, that was not necessarily the case. Well, co correct. I mean, the, with Elliot Hall made it clear to me that they didn't expect this to come to this point and that hmm. it is a surprise. And Devin, also to be clear, Hall says in this case there was no quid pro quo. But once again, let's see what that indictment yeah. looks like if it comes. Back to you. You bet. We'll stay on top of that here as we uh, now get past the five o'clock hour. Hopefully, an update coming up at six. All right, Mara.